Hey, this is Kevin Phillips and welcome to this quick video tutorial where I'm going to be looking at some of the new modeler tools that ship with Lightwave 11.5. I'm just going to touch on some of the, uh, well, just a couple of the new modification tools just to show you how it enhances our workflow and um, just look at some of the cool new features that NewTek is starting to build into the modeling tool set. So I've got an aircraft here, it's a Messerschmitt 109 that I modeled some time ago and it's got raised landing gear because it was never really designed for landing it's supposed to be for you know basic aerial combat and what I want to do is I wanted to drop the landing gear down so I'm going to select some of the polys press the right square bracket to select them and I'm going to fold this undercarriage down and out I'm also going to uh, repair a few things such as this half a wheel and add an additional uh, detail in here the landing strut and axle Okay, so we're in the perspective view, and as you know, doing rotates, hitting Y and rotating in the perspective view can give you some really funky angles that are a little hard to control. Now, in Lightwave 11.5, under Modify, we have a new tool called Axis Rotate, and these new tools are quite cool in that they let us define our own custom axes um, by basically drawing them in. And one of the other things that is quite cool, and you'll see these buttons down here, is that it also lets us define these axes with snapping options. So we can get a perfect axis based on vertices or edges or so forth, or so on. Now you can turn these on and off. In fact, I only want vertex for now, so let's turn these off so we don't have all of those things popping up. And you notice as I move the mouse around, it tells me when I'm rolling over a vertex is quite nice. So let's uh, make an axis along here so I can rotate the gear down. So let's uh, left click once on this vertex. And then as we move the mouse out, you notice that the end tries to snap to different vertices. Well, let's uh, take it to this vertex, a left click, and that defines our axis. So let's now left click and drag to the left just to fold our gear down. Let's take it about 85 degrees. Okay, so it's quite nice. It tells us here how many degrees we've rotated by. You still have the numeric option, of course, um, that you have with other tools. And the nice thing about the new tool is that it interactively updates on screen as you adjust the values in here. Okay, let's uh, press return and we're done. Okay, so the gear is down, but the gear it's kind of rotated backwards. It needs to be kind of pushed forwards this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it again. Okay, in fact, I'm going to hide everything else. I'm going to push uh, the equals key just to hide things. And I am going to rotate it along this edge. Okay, so I'm going to go axis rotate again. And I'm going to click on this vertex click on this vertex. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. Let's click to the left. Let's take it about 20 degrees out and push return. And let's unhide everything. That's much better. Okay, so let's fix this wheel. You notice that this wheel, well there's only half a wheel for a start. And let's uh, just go out Let's push this out, and I'm, I'm going to just use the normal move tool for this. Okay, click and drag it out to about here. Now, I want to make polygon mode, I want to make the other half. So let's, uh, I'm going to select it. I should have unselected it, silly me. I'm going to copy it. Okay, I'm not going to paste it yet because I want to show you another feature in that wave 11.5 in a sec. So I'm going to use the axis rotate tool again, and I'm going to define a line across the middle like that and I just need to spin that 180 degrees that way so I'm going to use numeric options for this one type 180 and there we go okay now I can unselect it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that other half back in and something that's very interesting with 11.5 is that when you paste something now it actually selects it as well and this is going to save so many headaches uh, if you're familiar with pasting things on top of other geometry and then the number of times you're not sure did you paste on top of 
the same thing and you end up with like double geometry everywhere this is going to relieve a lot of those headaches so I'm going to just select the edge loops down each side here okay if you weren't familiar with this you basically select two faces and press the right arrow key okay with these two selected I'm going to merge all these points so I'm going to press M for merge I'm going to use a fixed distance of five mils 16 points eliminated sounds pretty good to me and we'll drop that selection our wheel is complete our gear is down all I need to do now is I just need to bring in a nice strut detail run down here with the axle and everything in so lucky for me I actually have such an object sitting pre-made so I'm going to go load object into layer and I'm just going to load it into the same layer as the aircraft and it's called UC for undercarriage ME109 and it's pretty big but we're not going to worry about that because our new tools can help us help us with getting this to fit on nicely so let's uh, make sure we've got everything selected okay like so and I am going to take this in fact I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm also going to rotate this a little so it's a bit closer to the angle it just makes things easy you don't have to do this because the next tool we're going to use automatically takes care of doing some of this for us what I am going to do is I am going to use under the translate more align a new tool called the align tool and what the align tool lets us do is it lets us select a face or a normal on the object that we want to align to another one so we can either do faces we can do edges as well so let's uh, left click to select one on the selected object and that leaves this nice black indicator here and then let's go down to our aircraft and let's uh, zoom in on here and let's say I wanted to align it against this so let's uh, left click here and there it is aligned in place now it's a little huge and it's upside down but the nice thing about the align tool is it leaves us with these nice control handles here we have a scale tool so just clicking the square in the center and we've got rotate tool which you can spin it around to bring it down like so okay we can also bring it up and maybe just do a bit of scale just to correct it so we can correct things quite quickly that looks pretty good slide it across and we can just rotate that around to align it the way we need it move it back and just rotate it up and the nice thing is this is staying aligned on the axis um, that we aligned it to so all of our tools are working based on those uh, two aligned normals or faces okay it looks pretty sweet to me and I'm kind of happy with that so I'm push return and there you have it landing gear in place so to finish it off I'm just going to take that other one delete it and then I'm going to go through and I'm simply going to take this Make sure I've got it all selected like so and use the mirror tool move it across X put our prop back on have a look and there is our landing version of our Messerschmitt finished and ready to go